Welcome back to God of War. I believe this is episode 11. That sounds right. Um, so we're going to go until the next convenient save point. So this might get long, it might be shorter, I don't know. We're just going to go for it. My god, how long was Kratos climbing while I wasn't paying attention? Hey, look, that's where we started. Well, we were still riding with Gaia. Man, that was a roundabout way to get over here, huh? Oh yeah, more, more crossfades. Crossfade transitions. Man. Where the heck are we? Oh. Flame of Olympus. The crank handle is retracted. It cannot be used. I think it's different. Is that Pandora's box in there? Pandora's box? Yeah, my question too. What is the meaning of this? Your eyes do not deceive you, Kratos. It is the same box you opened years ago. The power to kill a god still rests inside. I released those powers when I killed Ares. No. Trapped inside that box, there is a stronger power. Oh. It has been missing from the world. It all began when Zeus triumphed over the Titans in the Great War. That I was unaware of. I don't remember. Zeus understood that the evils born from that battle, if left free, would destroy the world of man and gods. Hmm. To contain these evils, Zeus commissioned Hephaestus to build a vessel strong enough to hold them. Fear. Greed. Hate. He locked them all away in the box in hopes that they would never again infect his reign. When you opened the box to kill Ares, you drew from the forbidden powers. After witnessing your victory, fear gripped Zeus. Oh, dang. But the flame is deadly. How can I recover the box? With its namesake, Kratos. Pandora? She is the key to destroying the flame. The key to our revenge. This will be difficult, Spartan. A simple child will not trouble me, Athena. I hope you are right, Ghost of Sparta. The irony in a ghost calling me ghost. Just point that out. Just because Kratos hasn't been in the sun for a while. I mean, come on, that's a little harsh. <laughs> Alright, I don't need the health, so we're just going for the magics. Any, any goodies over here? Nope. Using my uh, Helios Head Lantern, patent pending. To uh, progress a little bit here. All right, there's a save point here, but that's just way too close to where the last one was, or where my last cut was. So we'll go to the next one. So this episode might get a little long. It's usually how it rolls, but we'll do what we can. We'll see where we're at when we're done with this episode. This is. This is interesting. I mean, look at the sky. Yeah, there's a little bit of storm front coming. Better close schools. Close schools or storms coming. Wait, is there a glowy here? Why are you telling me that?
What are you telling me that for? Mankind has paid the price dearly for the death of Poseidon, Hades, and Helios. Floods have swallowed the lands, and the sky is veiled by clouds and unbridled storms. Eh, not my problem. Why is it telling me about the Helios thing? Is there a secret here that I'm not seeing? I don't see a secret here. Oh, because there's pictures in here that I can open with it. Ugh. Alright, let's read these. What do we got? The Flame of Olympus. Death awaits all who touch the flame, god or mortal. Yet even this power pales against that which is protected in its core. Alright. Yeah, yeah. Balance of power. The muses guide souls in life, the three judges in death, and in the realm between them the key to the flame guides the balance of power. Okay. That's kind of nifty. <clears throat> judges of Hades. In the judges' hands the fate of Olympus lies, for it is they who control the great chain and determine its release. Mm. Oh, good. You may have brute force, but you lack speed. God, he reminds me of the jester from, uh, what you call it, um, Skyrim. You've been lucky in battle, Spartan. Cicero. But your luck ends today. All right. I'm, I'm gonna go until he's dead. That's where this episode ends. What makes you think the death of Hermes. Because, God, I want to kill him. I want to kill him so bad. God, the stupid civilian killed me <laughs> by being in my way. I was trying to go around him, let him live his life, but no. His stupid fat feet were in my way. Mm. Death for a stupid reason is the worst kind of death. I don't try to just mindlessly kill them, but they're in my way this time, so now they have to die. No, it's kind of infuriating, honestly. Get over here! I wanna, I wanna cut your face.
Is this gonna be more climbing? It's gonna be more climbing, isn't it? I thought he was stuck there. I and okay. Oh man. Come here. Come here, Hermes. You're dead to me, son. Are you kidding me? Died for a stupid reason again. The best kind of death. <laughs> it's not a lack of skill, it's a lack of seeing what's supposed to happen. People need to get the heck out of my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Helios is going to die in this episode. I realize I'm being kind of quiet. It's a lot of focus sections to keep up with him. Hmm. Your body's as frail as glass. I'm actually in front of him right now, like... <clears throat> yeah, the cat's basically laying on my feet now. Because I keep touching her and I can't stop. <laughs> Let her sleep. She's a sleepy peepee. She's tiny and cute. I can't handle it. Oh, nice. Get some. Yeah, I bet you didn't see that coming. Bet you didn't see that coming. You may be fast, but you're not nearly as reckless as Kratos. Where did he go? He was attached to the head of... Seen as a statue there. Where do you go? Oh, look at the bloody blood trails. He thinks he can get away, but he's injured. I will not be bested by a mortal. <laughs> but you're injured, my friend. Oh. Let's go, huh? <laughs> oh, Helios I thought die. Spartans fought with honor, and yet you seek to kill me when I have no way to defend myself? Not fair! But you have your own sense of honor, right, Kratos? And what has that 
Honor brought you! Nothing but nightmares of your failure. <laughs> Today you may defeat me, but in the end, Kratos, in the end, you'll betray only yourself. Yeah, but you mocked me for a while, so... Aw, oh, dang it, come on. I'm... Oh, damn! Nope, 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 I'm coming for you. You're done, though. <laughs> Jesus, man. That's brutal. It's a good thing I've been putting that warning on the every episode. Dang. That was freaking brutal. Did you turn into bugs? Why why locust? Where's that bats? I can't tell. Locusts or bats? Uh, uh, it looks like locusts. Right on. Now I've got Hermes boots. Now I'm speedy quick. Shoes taken from the messenger of the gods. They grant the gift of agility. You now wear the boots of Hermes. Use their speed to your advantage. <laughs> I'm like a bull now. Now I can do what the uh, what the uh, minotaurs do, which is run into everything a million times. Yeah, that's fun. I like... Nice. Oh, and you can use them to run up walls too? Nifty! Nifty! Nice. Alright, thank you for joining me for God of War episode 11. We killed Hermes, the annoying mock mockery messenger god guy. So, see you guys next time.